Congratulations on your new Camwood CNC router. This video presumes that you have assembled your uh, Dell PC and it's connected to the machine. It will connect on a port that's on your electrical cabinet down on the bottom over here. Your cabinet might be slightly different than the one pictured here, but the connection is always going to be the same. You will have noted that there are several computer connections, but all of the plug ends are different. So there's really only one way for them to fit together. If you haven't looked at the connection video, might be a good time to just brush up on that before we watch this video. It's a classic case of engaging the brain before you engage the brawn. The computer has to be up and running before we turn on the machine always. Let me say that one again. We always want to have the computer up and running before we power up the machine. So I will presume that at this point you've got the computer connected and it's plugged in again down on this port and we want to keep the green button turned off. It should uh, be unilluminated and um, there's three emergency stop switches on the machine. There's one down on the cabinet here, one on the right side of the bridge, one on the left side of the bridge. All right, so we want the machine off. We're going to uh, start by um, bringing up the program that runs the machine. On your desktop, this is a representation of your desktop. That's just the fancy name for the computer screen. There's an icon that has your model number of your machine. This machine is a WR408, so my icon says WR408. Double click that icon, and I get a program that looks very much like this. Note that there's a few flashing lights on there. You'll, you will see that the reset button is flashing from red to green and there's some text scrolling by. My text tells me that I have an emergency um, stop active somewhere on the machine. I'm going to hit that reset. That's going to go away. Back to the machine once that's on and uh, again I don't have any text scrolling by here I will uh, go back to the machine and I'm gonna release all three of the emergency stop buttons to release that button simply turn it clockwise about a quarter of a turn and you'll feel it pop out if it's been engaged so check all three buttons one two three and then when that happens you need to press that green button and once you press it it will stay lit you'll note that the machine will become live you'll see it feel it um, spring to life a little bit it's gonna jump a small amount and you'll hear the power on the machine so when that happens go um, and, and notice if there's any uh, alarms that come up on this screen it should look very much like it. It you see it displayed here. N nothing really in the status bar. Nothing scrolled by here. If that's happened, you have successfully powered up the machine. Congratulations. Go watch the next video. If that ha hasn't happened, or if anywhere in this process you want to talk to somebody for some moral support uh, or just a technical question, please feel free to call us here at X Factory. You can always reach us at our main phone number, that's area code 704-841-2001. This is Tom and my extension number is 341. If you can't get me, you can certainly try my assistant Sharon. She's at 319. Most people like talking to her better anyway. And uh, one of the two of us can certainly direct you to someone that can help you uh, with whatever problem you may have. So don't hesitate to call. Um, if you got this screen without any alarm scrolling and nothing flashing, congratulations. Go watch the next video. That'll tell you how to uh, move the machine for the first time.